Hi, and welcome to this lesson on Add and Convert Volume. So today in Activity 1, we have Add the Liquids Together by using the chart. And remember to include your unit of measurement as milliliters. And you'll remember that 1,000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter. So looking across the top of the page, you have a baby bottle, a perfume container, a Pepsi drink, another type of soda, um, some grape juice, orange juice, a drink with a straw in it, and a umbrella, and then it looks like an old-fashioned Coca-Cola bottle, the glass type. So you've got all these items, and you're going to have to add it together. So the first thing you want to do is go to your notebook. You should definitely do this work in your copybook, and set up your questions by looking at the chart. Okay, so in activity one, the first thing you want to do is set up all your questions. And if you look underneath uh, the purple line where it says one, you'll see there's what looks like two Pepsi cups that you have to add together. So I went to the legend at the top with all the pictures and the milliliters and liters underneath. And I found what looks like the Pepsi cup and it said 150 milliliters. So for question A, it was 150 milliliters plus 150 milliliters. So now I went and I set up the next question. In question B, it looks like a baby bottle, and it looks like what could be an orange juice. So the baby bottle was 500 milliliters I put there, and the orange juice was 200 milliliters I put there. I include my units each time. I draw a line underneath, and I just nor order them with A, B, C. So the third question I put as C, uh, it looks like two fancy grape bottles. And so I went up there and I saw, oh, okay, this is one liter. And so what you'll notice is I instantly changed the one liter into milliliters because the question wants us to answer in milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters plus 1,000 milliliters to set that one up. And then in D, it looks like a perfume bottle and a glass with an umbrella. So I found the perfume bottle was 300 milliliters here, and uh, the glass with the umbrella was equivalent in the legend to 175 milliliters. So I set that up there, and I see that I need to add in a line. So let's add it in. So you have to go through and you have to set up all the questions just like this by using the chart in the book. Once you've done that, you're looking at straightforward addition questions. So here's 0 plus 0. I'm going to write down my 0. 5 plus 5 is 10. I'm going to write down my 0. I'm going to put the 1 here. And then 1, 2, 3. I'm going to see that I have 300 milliliters. And I have to make sure to put the milliliters here. Really important to always have your units so that you know you're talking about volume and capacity and you're not talking about weight or something else. So we know that from our milliliters. So if I go to the next one, I have to add the zeros together in the ones column. Then in the tens column, I have to add the zeros together. And then I get to the hundreds column and I have to add a five and a two. So I have seven and I'm going to put my units down. So you have to go through and do all the adding and that is how you do question one. Okay, in activity two, you want to convert the milliliters to liters and the liters to milliliters by multiplying and dividing by 1,000. So you can see how much one liter of water is by looking at the water bottle on the left-hand side there. And I'm sure you've seen many bottles like that in your life. So check carefully now when you see those bottles to see how many liters it is. It could be under a liter, it could be a little over a liter, but a lot of them are one liter. And then on the right hand side you can see how much a milliliter looks like. It's really equivalent to just about four drops of water because it's very small. Okay, and then just put the chart below um, where it says one liter equals, leave a blank line and fill in milliliters on the other side. Uh, then go down to the next one, 6,000 milliliters is equal to blank amount. And then you put liters in and copy the chart exactly how it is so you can do this activity in your book.